Hello, my name is Natasha and this is yoga for menstruation. You will need a cup of your favourite tea or just some warm water maybe. Drink of your choice. I've like to sit in my red mug here. Um, very red theme going wrong. That wasn't actually fun. Um, Anna, maybe borrow your favourite chocolate. Again, or something similar. And a bolster if you have one, or a cushion, or some blankets. I've laid out a blanket here on my mat just for a little added comfort. Um, so just get yourself comfortable, even put your pajamas on, um, just really make yourself comfortable in this practice. So to start, we are going to be coming into a seat of your choice. So if you want to lift your hips a little bit with a cushion or a block or anything, then go ahead and do that. Just get comfortable somewhere where you can sit up nice and tall and we're just going to bring our hands to our belly and just close the eyes if that feels comfortable. Just begin to notice your breath. Just breathing into your hands. Filling up that belly. And I just have a few affirmations that you can either just listen to and absorb or repeat to yourself mentally. I value my menstruation as an essential part of my body and well-being. I refrain from judging my menstruation. I practice acceptance and awareness. I listen to what my body, what my cycle, is telling me. I value my menstruation as an essential part of my body and well-being. I refrain from judging my menstruation. I practice acceptance and awareness. I listen to what my body, what my cycle is telling me. And just sit with that for a moment. Notice how you feel. Again, refraining from any judgment, allowing any feelings, any thoughts, just to be there. It's all welcome. And we can always just come back to the breath. And then blinking your eyes open if they were closed, and you're just going to take your drink. Sitting up nice and tall, maybe even allowing your eyes to close again. Bringing it up, noticing any smells, breathing it in. Fostering the sense of awareness through all our senses. And if it isn't too hot, you can take a sip, nice and slow. And 
And again, just allowing this moment, something we all do so often, just taking a sip of our drinks, but we're just bringing this, this intention, this awareness, this real being present with it. And just taking this time to really nourish our bodies, to nourish ourselves and give ourselves a little bit of love. Because you absolutely deserve it. Okay. And when you're ready, you can pop that down and come back to that whenever you need. We are going to make our way onto all fours. This is why this nice blanket is nice for a bit of support for our knees, a little bit of softness in our practice today. Knees are underneath our hip points, hands underneath the shoulders, fingers spreading wide. And we're just going to start moving a few cat-cow movements with the breath. So we're inhaling to drop the belly and look forward. And exhale to round through. But because, you know, maybe you're feeling a bit crampy there or anything else, just really honoring that and being gentle with yourself. So we're not forcing anything if that is too much, doesn't feel good. Maybe we can find what does feel good. Maybe a few circles with our hips, one way and the other, or just, you know, find your own little movement here. The important thing is that you just connect with the breath. So I'm going to give a few moments here to explore that on your own, however that looks for you. Returning to center, balancing anything you need balancing out there, and then just extend your right leg out long, toes on the ground. And just find a little rock, a little movement there. If you're getting tired on the wrists, you can always drop down onto your forearms. And then turning it back and we go on to the other side, keeping that breath going. And then just bringing the feet together, knees together, and coming up slowly to sit up tall. Bring your hands, palms facing up on your lap there. So it's kind of giving a nice little stretch to the hands there after being pushing on the mat. Just counterbalancing that. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the jaw, relaxing that space between the eyes. Letting the breath flow. Okay, slowly coming back to 
into your tabletop position, this time knees going as wide as the mat, big toes to touch. And then send it back into an extended child's pose. But we're going to find a little wave with it. So we're coming up to our table and then breathing out, coming down. So just finding this, just this subtle movement, noticing it in the hips, in the spine, and really make it your own. So it doesn't have to look a certain way. And just really connecting with what your body needs today. This, just this gentle movement. And maybe actually it's craving a bit more stillness. So maybe it's going a little bit slower in, into this. Maybe it's just coming into that extended child's pose and finding a little sway side to side. Maybe that's enough today. You decide. It is your practice. And when you're ready, just slowly walking those hands up. And then we are going to come into our last pose, which is going to be a more restorative pose. This is why I said the bolster or cushion could be handy. But I want to give you three different options here, okay, because we're all different, we're all craving different things in this moment. So the main purpose of this bit is just to rest and restore. So here are some of the options that I have. Of course, you can take your own. That's welcome and encouraged. So first one is with your bolster or cushion in our extended child's pose here with our legs, um, knees as wide as the mat, big toes to touch. We can bring ourselves down over our cushion into a nice little hug there. That's, um, that's option one. Otherwise, we can bring it into a... Um, more restorative butterfly so you can either lay down on the ground here bringing the soles of the feet to touch now your cushions here they can go underneath each knee to support that um, another option could be if you have the bolster and you have some blocks, you can stack it up here. Let me just show you real quick. So if you're waiting for me to crack on with this, getting through them, take another sip of that tea. <laughs> okay, so if you have that, then you have one yoga block long, one down, you can go like that. And coming into your butterfly here, Okay, making sure it's nice and supported. Or another option, if you don't have any of them props, is to take your legs up the wall, or a chair, or a bed, or a sofa. Just bringing them up, kind of relaxing them on the wall, or down on a chair here, like this, or a bed. So lots of different options there. You could even just take some time just to lay down flat. Okay. So whatever your body is craving today, if you would like to go ahead and take that position now. And we are going to stay there for five minutes, okay? So I will tell you when it's halfway 
that way you can if you're say in the extended child's pose you can rest your head one way and halfway and rest it the other to find a little bit of balance that way for just five minutes and the affirmation i have chosen for this part which you are welcome to go with or you can take one of the other ones if they really resonated with you this is i give myself gentleness and compassion i give myself gentleness and compassion So you can repeat that back to yourself with the breath two or three times. I give myself gentleness and compassion. And then just coming back to the breath. Relaxing a little bit more. halfway so if you need to change side you're in direction if you're in the child's pose you can move your head slightly to look the other way otherwise just keep breathing wherever you are giving yourself this gentleness and compassion a little bit more
good one. You can move any props off to the side, nice and slow, and just come to lay on your side, feeling the ground beneath you. If your legs are up the wall in the butterfly position, you can start to roll onto your side now as well. Taking a few deep breaths here. And we'll meet in our seated position once again. Be finding any other movements you want to feel in your body. Is there any sways, any circles, anything that feels good right now? Taking it nice and gentle. Giving yourself permission to just be in your body, to explore this movement, to be with your breath. And then you can take your drink. And take your chocolate or whatever you we have there. And we're just going to take a square or a small part of what you have that's suitable for you. Mine are tiny, I'm having two. <laughs> and you're just going to just pop that in your mouth. Sing up nice and tall. Oh, I better wait to have mine while I'm talking, I guess. Closing the eyes, if that feels good. Noticing the texture in your mouth. Maybe turning it over with your tongue. Noticing if the texture is changing, so if it's chocolate, is it melting? Bringing your full awareness to the taste flavors coming up. Deepen yourself, maybe you, well, oh, that went too quickly and I'm on my next part already and that's okay. That is absolutely fine. But just enjoying each little bit of it. There's no guilt. It's just pleasure. You give yourself gentleness and compassion. Okay, blink the eyes open. Feel free to swallow that up if you haven't already. I am going to dive into mine because I am on day one here <laughs> and uh, it's calling to me. So I am going to snuggle up after that, um, watch a film, take some time for me and uh, I hope that you can do something that just brings you joy and peace today as well. Thank you so much for joining in this practice. I hope that it served you well and I just want to honour you for showing up here today. You might not have felt like it. Um, 
but you made it, you did it all the way through, you took this time for yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And if you like that practice, please like and comment, let me know, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. Have a great day.